You definitely do not pull women. You definitely do not have sex with women. Your game so, is dead. DMs, dating apps. I don't have time for that. I don't believe you should kiss a lot of frogs to find your prince. I believe in grilling them. I'm going to be going on a series of dates to find who can really wow me. This is grilling. I'm this is the comedian. Um, sex chocolate of the year 2014. I'm a single father and I need someone to look after my kids, to be fair. Pussy and a babysitter. I expect pussy on the first date because I spent money. So that's my that's the only expectations I have. Pussy, then we take it from there. So do you want a relationship? Is that what you're looking for? Something long term? Yeah, is this what this is about? I thought this was about getting pussy and grilled. Hi, you're right. I'm good, thank you. Wonderful. Okay. Are you alright? Are you alright? Yeah. Okay. What's your name? Dizzle. Dizzle, I'm Cheyenne. Oh, well, I'm Cheyenne, nice you're right. I will really bust in this girl's face. Do I smell nice? I don't know. Don't rate this guy the way he looks, sorry. No. Because of this date, I got, I got a magazine that I had from the train for about, about a year ago. Yeah. And I had like a scratch and sniff aftershave. And I, and I used that today for you. Scratch and sniff. Yeah. Well, hi. Nice to meet you. Did you have an okay journey getting here? It was it was an okay journey. Okay, so. Okay. Well, how about you? Yeah, good. Nice That's wonderful. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, Dizzle, tell me about you. How old are you? What do you do? No, tell me about you, because I've seen the programme and I've seen like you've been educating, kissing a lot of frogs. So, how come you haven't gone and you ain't got? None of these guys that you've been grilling. I'm not really feeling it. Like I know what I want. You what know? do you want? I want a man that's assertive, that's very alpha, mm -hmm. that knows how to look after a woman but mm -hmm. not control a woman. Give time and love and affection. You know. I think that she's out there to get battered. You will find that, but that's not you then. Like you've been watching a lot of love romantic movies. Like, do you like them romantic movies? Yeah. Type? Do you think I'm living in a fairy you tale? You are, man. You need you need to come out of the Hollywood relationship. And what? And get into the, the kid-uphood relationship. What's that? <laughs> Real world. Okay, well, what's that then? That means, like, a man's going to take you out. You are beautiful. Thank you. But just allow me in it. Don't ask allow me. Allow you? Why yeah. are you... Don't, don't ask me where I'm at, like, oh, wh how comes I didn't call you today? Or, oh, you saw two blue ticks and no reply. But this is why I'm saying communication is key. And that's... No, that's, that's already that, a red flag, that, just so you know. You've shown up a lot of red flags to me. Okay, but what's we, that then? Dating a lot of guys and not being with none of them. But I'm not sleeping with them, so I can do what well, I want. Sleep... I, I can actually do what I want in my like free time. Is he right? No, Just you, so you know. Yes, you can. Like when you're dating, mm -hmm. like at the end of the day, for me, like I'm dating with intention. Mm -hmm. So I'm not just going to go around and sleep with everyone. I want to yeah. make sure like I'm making the right choice. I don't want to yes. just make a decision just because I like your vibe. Like it has to be right. Yes. So that's why I'm dating multiple people. It may seem. Okay. I'm not saying she's a hoe, but she's hoeish. I've got kids. Have you? I'm an older guy. Oh, cute. Family man. I'm liking it. What's your relationship like? Would you have a toxic baby mum? Is no, it good? No, I live with my kids. You live with your kids? Because I want to. Cause I'll... So you're still with a baby mum? No, I'm not with a baby mum. But you live together? Yeah. No, I don't live together. Wait, so, so do you live with your kids or not? See, that's what I'm trying to say. You're stereotyping me. No, I'm not. I'm asking Cause you a question. Because you think a man, because he can't, because he's got his kids, it must be um, some social service was involved or a toxic baby mother. Why can't I just want my kids? I didn't say social service. That come out of your mouth. But I'm just saying. You were thinking it, I saw no. you had that social I didn't, service I didn't look make in your that eye. assumption. You had it in your eye. You that's, had the that's, you, that's a you problem. You judge me. You judge no, me. That's a you problem. That's your own insecurity that you're projecting onto me. So I don't have insecurities, baby. Okay. Tell me about you then, Dizzle. I've just told you about me. That you live with your kids. Yeah. And that's it. And I do comedy. Yeah. I'm here trying to find a nice wife slash babysitter slash. What do you mean, babysitter? Babysitter. It's alarming that you would let somebody that you're only just dating like look after your kids because you want a babysitter. All right then, say if I hired a babysitter then, mm -hmm. where do I know her from? They I don't know, she probably got daggered before she come to my house. I must deny myself pom pom because of them. Yeah, that's disgusting. You'd actually choose a woman of your kids. Duh, pom pom, yes. I feel like you're dating for all the wrong reasons. What are you dating for? Cause you've, I'm you've, dating for love. No, but you're not because you've, you've, I've, I've seen that you've had a lot, lot of lovely guys here and you, you've just 
been so horrible. So you think that all those guys are really lovely? I'm just saying, out of all them frogs, you couldn't find your Prince Charming? No. That's just something about you. That's, for a person that throws up red flags, I'm throwing up a lot of red cards to you. Okay, which are? There's something about you that you're not saying. Like what? I don't know, I think you might have a past. I need you to be honest with me. How many men have you been, been with in your whole lifetime? In my whole lifetime? Couldn't tell you, to be honest. That's what I'm trying to say. Why? What's wrong with that? You don't know how much men you sleep with. I like that. You know, some girls have said five or you know, low, but because your number's so high, you don't even know how much. I rate that. It's a really high. I've slept with thousands of men. That's the conversation you have to have with your vagina. That's not, I don't, I, I can't get involved in that. That's what you say, vagina. Okay, so... <laughs> I've abused you throughout the years, but we're going to make it. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm the Panani Whisperer. Her pussy was talking to me. He was saying, helps. Help. So how many people have you slept with? I'm like you. What do you mean you're like me? <laughs> I don't know my body count. Yeah, but I don't know mine as in like I'm not counting, but I'm not out here moving mad in that sense. Well, that sounds mad. No, it's because... I'm not counting, is, I'm not moving no, mad. No, but you know what is, is Babe, they're so on, bad. Man. Like my dating experience have been so bad. I just like blocked them out like it didn't happen when it's that tragic. Sorry, it doesn't count. I know, I feel it's hard for you, for you girls dating guys. It is, isn't it? It is. And I put it down to the video hit vixens. Because no. we could get pum pum so quick and easy. Can you though? Because I feel like men that say that a lot really don't get pussy. I don't believe that. that you know what? Do I you? was f***ing last night. That's what you didn't hear. I didn't say I, was, I wanted to be with a person. I was just f***ing. You're one of those guys that have meaning in the sex. Yeah. Sex is sex. I could, as long as I bust in some, whether it's in my hand, on your chest, in your condom, in your hair. It was great sex to me. How many times have I got to explain this? Do you think I look nice? Yeah, because I would have got up from a long time. What do you mean? Do you know how far I came to come here? I'm not going to come sit down there for no dead things. That's rude. But you're not dead, so it's not rude. Yeah, but if I was... Then I'd be gone. But You'd what, be... what rate yourself out of 10 then? What do you think you are to be getting up and doing that? I was a six the other day, but I've been going to the gym and I'm even funnier, so I'm about 11. Take away five. Oh, you wow. can stay as the six. But I got a big dick, so that makes up that's about 15. Big dick don't mean nothing. It does. It when it's in your throat and you can't breathe and you've got your fucking eye and your gag reflex is getting mad and you know all your makeup's running down your fucking face like a horror movie, then don't you know that's girth. No. It's worth. I like when your, my dick's in your mouth and I look down and it looks like I've got a vagina because I don't see nothing. That's girth. Girth is worth. Why is he talking like that? You've got a pretty throat. Has anybody told Why you that? Why are you looking at my throat? Because, long story. He is so weird. Have you had an Adam's apple before? No. Would you like one? What do you mean? Do you want to know what Adam's apple is? Yeah. But okay. I'm a female, so how am I going to get one? Use your imagination. I don't have one. Red flag. Why? But what, what is boring. it you want me to imagine? My dick in your throat. Why would I do that? Because you want to see the Adam's apple, innit? This is what happens when you don't have sex, ladies and gentlemen. All right, then do you suck dick? No. Oh, for f***'s sake, I'm going, I'm, I need to leave here then. Do you eat pussy? No. No? Well, I'm yeah. leaving as well then. I think we're made for each other. <laughs> do you think? I, I think it would be really awful. They all say they don't eat pussy. He de definitely does. You're a pessimist. Why? Because you don't see the optimism of our date right now. Because you've just asked me to imagine your f in my throat. So do you have sex um, on the first date? You know, like the, the, when England lost World Cup, that's how devastated I'd be if really? I didn't have sex on the first date. You said that if you went on a first date and didn't get pum pum, it would feel like. Oh God, please don't even say. Don't even, don't even. That's like. That's like a horrible word. To, no pum pum. England losing. Ah, oh, please. What's your techniques to pull a woman? I just make her laugh. I yeah. laugh off her panty then. Really? Yeah. Have a man never laugh off your panty then? To be fair, you could banter me into bed if you were funny, but you're not, so... so I'm, I'm serious like a judge right now. Okay. No Ugh. banter here. What's your type? You. No, what is your actual type? You. No, you can't do that. That's like the worst way what? to explain You're just trying to rub me out here. I'm trying I'm to give you the you most your compliments. Type? You're my type. It's what? nice, smooth neck. Sorry, the neck. Why does he keep looking at my throat for? Like, it's, I feel, it's making me feel weird. Stop looking at my throat. 
Would you like lie to have sex? I feel like you would. You're the type. Can I say something to you? No, if it's about my neck, you can't. All right. I won't say anything then. Yeah, don't. But every man likes to get pom pom. Pussy is designed to be lied to. That's the only. That's it was designed. It's got that. It's got that. That's why it's got that. That's why it's shaped like that. Pussy shaped like lies. So you tell it lies. Do you use being funny as a defence mechanism? No, I use it to get pussy. But I don't think you get pussy. I do. I, you're definitely not funny enough to get pussy. Sorry. Well, at least I could get the throat. <laughs> <laughs> Whose throat? You ain't getting mine. Can you be romantic? Obviously. I, it's not obvious. What's the most romantic thing you've done? Being here, sitting on a date with you in this nice, beautiful place. That's you romantic. That's your romantic. If I was going to be romantic, I would have take you out to my Bridges Jerk Centre place, yeah? Mm -hmm. Get you a nice jerk, mm -hmm. yeah? Get you a nice jerk with some rice and peas, some Guinness punch, pineapple punch, smoke some herbs, and let's chill out. The silence says enough. Are you in touch with your emotions? Yes, I do. Yes, you do? Yes, I am. You are? Yeah. You keep passing everything off as a joke, and you're really not. You know, and that's, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. You know. no, that, that, and that's your opinion. And that's okay no, that, as well. That's what I'm witnessing tonight. No, no, that's, that's your opinion. And, and that's okay to me. Do you think it's important that men cry? I like crying. Yeah. A girl was giving me head one time when I was crying. Stop referring everything back to sex. I'm well, you asked me, that's the time important? I was crying when but, the girl no, was giving me head. But it's important. I, I don't know if it was her teeth, but I was emotional. Why does everything keep going back to sex? It's like this full circle and then sex. So you've got sons, I'm asking you, yeah. because this is a serious question, like how you raise the next generation. Yes. Is it important for men to be in tune with their emotions? You sound like you want a pussy all. No, I'm asking I'm not a pussy you. No, but I'm asking you because you you're raising like you sons. You're raising men, so bad I'm asking man. you. I'm raising kings, I'm bad man. So if your son cries, are you going to call him a pussy all? Mm -mm. Dickhead. How is he going to say to a family man and call his child a dickhead for crying? Give me How a scenario then. It? I don't know. Something's hurt him. He falls over. He hurts himself. How are you dealing with it? Get up, pussy one. Come out my face. I'll stop the crying. If I'll give you something to cry about. Fly kick you in your back. Piece of shit. That's how I deal with it. With toxic masculinity and things like that, mm. you have to be able to nurture emotions and stuff. And because I'm then you end up a bit sorry. like you and having a defence mechanism, making everything a joke when it's not. Can I see your phone and read your DMs, please? Are you... Do you know how incriminating that would be for my life? No. Are you stupid? Well, I'm not telling no one. It's like you'd ask to finger me in my batty hole in front of 40,000 people. That's the equivalent of answering me for my phone right now. Why? Would you let me see it, though? If yeah, when it's, yeah, you when it's you? off. After you've deleted everything? <laughs> no, when the battery's dead. <laughs> That's the only time you can see my phone. You think she's going to be looking through my phone? Not a blood clot. Really? 110%. But if it's just work on there. If I've asked you to pay the bills for me, then that's different. Oh, are you that guy that has like two phones? Listen, we're trying to protect your feelings. If you see you in my phone, you probably get into depression and I'm trying to stop you from doing that. So what are you doing to make me depressed? I can't say. What's on your phone? Woohoo. What's your favorite sex position or move? It's called the quadrophenia. What's that? I get your legs, I put it around that leg and then I get the, the other leg, put it around your waist so your pum pum's open like this like this thing with, um, and I actually put a candle on top of the pom pom and I frost and the candle just goes, it looks romantic. Do you want to try it? No. As a man who asked you why you got a candle on top of your pom pom? No. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm, I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you some experience. I'm okay. Thank You're not you. okay because you haven't had the candle in the wind. <laughs> That's what it's called. <laughs> really don't feel no chemistry? I don't want you to feel chemistry, I want you to feel my hood in your hole. What is he doing? I'm just going to give you some hood. If you want a scientist like for chemistry, go to the science museum. I'm giving you a hood, yes sir. I don't deal with chemistry. I deal with beatistry. If that even even the word. This is what I'm saying, going back to like this meaning and the sex thing. Like, I feel like it's not meaningless because I'm going to bust, you're going to bust. How is that meaningless? I'm not on that. I just, I just don't like the way people just date these days. Like, but can I say something to you? I could sit here and be the best version of how you want me to be. Mm -hmm. And the, we could go out, we could do the most glorious stuff. But if I get in the bedroom and, I, and you're pump and big like Narnia, we've got a problem. I don't care how good you are. You're pussy big. 
So I need to eliminate that. Cause I don't waste my time and months dating you, and then when I gain your f***ing pum pum, I can't. I'm I'm there searching. I'm finding all lighters. I'm finding remotes in your pum pum. Let me know now, in it. As a, as a Jamaican say, we know why I'm by puss in our bag. Calm down. Like, just calm down. Why is, why is he so hype? Do you have you spanked somebody before? Why would you like to be spanked? Don't you think I need a spankings? Spank me. I'm being, a, I'm being a naughty boy. You've been a prick. That's what you've been. Ooh, you want pricks. See, you can't, you can't, you can't get dicks off your mind, innit? I bet she lives in cock fosters, innit? She just wants to be around cocks. <laughs> Come out of the gutter. You definitely do not pull women. You definitely do not have sex with women. Your game so, is dead. You're fascinated about my dick. You are, because you... No, that's your imagination, toilet, not you mine. Looked, you looked at me. I, I see you, you was looking at... Babe, it's all right. It's all right to be a hoe sometimes. I know sometimes you're probably around friends and thinking, you know what? It's not okay. But I, I can see it in your eyes. You got what? them hoeish eyes. Ho... Hoeish ho eyes. I'm not saying you're hoe, but you're hoeish. I've got whole ray vision. Yeah? I see it. Look, I know he needs to see, but those glasses, come on. Why are you wearing those glasses? Looking purposes, and I can see your hoeish eyes more better. Do you wear them in, when you're having sex? I turn them on. You want to have sex with me in my... Look, I'll wear a fireman suit, I'll wear the glasses. Which way is the way out? What do you want me to wear? Football? No, but do you? It's a genuine question. Or do you have to take them off to have no, sex? No, I, 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 I want to see what I'm, when, I'm, when I'm having sex. I do you keep, keep them on? on. Yeah. No. Listen, I'm from a strong Jamaican family. I'm from the hood. I've got street credibility. I don't know who rates you, but okay. This is no one, yes, but it has to be on a weekend. So you do then? Weekends. So, so yeah, so you want to swap the card? No, because if I'd done it in the weekday, then I'd be a bowl cat. But because I do on the weekends, I don't really qualify to be a bowl cat, so I can't say yes. But you are a bowl cat. I'm not, because I do it weekends. Now. No. Would you not? See, that's what I'm saying. You're fucking some of your exes, isn't it? Oh, never. Never, never, never. Uh, no. Don't. No, just, don't just see, because you might You've just be. been chatting shit all day. I'm chatting shit. I've been shit. real to you. Have you heard yourself? Have you heard yourself? Trying to be, oh, I'm Miss Prim and Proper. I'm, uh, my shit don't stink. Your shit stinks. Why is he so angry? No. Why not? Why the f***? What's wrong with you, Columbo? I wouldn't even go through your phone, it's just nice to know. That's what you, you want to know, you're too knowy knowy. No. Yeah? You want to know everything, Low it. Yeah, I do. But when it's a relationship, you're meant to be a partnership. No. So, yeah, you know, not that no. I'm going to go for it, I'm not going to say, it's not that I want then to know. Do you want my number for if you don't want to go for it? But oh, just, I'm going to buy condoms, but, but I ain't security, no pussy isn't tonight. It? Duh. It's for the security, just knowing. It's like, for security, just in case. You're taking the piss out of me. You're taking the piss out of yourself. Yes and no. No. So you're a loyal person. I just can't go through your phone. Of course I'm not gonna like not have a bitch's front pictures and I got you. That's nice. I'm, I've got a nice side to me, you know. Are you loyal? Yes, I am loyal. I've got one barber. That's it. Yeah, you're loyal to your barber, not your woman. Well, There's at least I'm loyal different... to f***ing something, isn't it? That's, I have to stand for f***ing something. What do you want from me? Loyal to my woman and my barber? Too much headache right now. That's too much. That's too much stress. Let me just be loyal to one, my barber. At least then I could probably one day move on to my girlfriend. Do you know what? I'm gonna say no as well now. Oh, you're taking the piss out of me. You're, you're, Why am you I taking are the piss taking out of you? I'm not. You know that you like a from or two up in your batty hole. Please. Just please, please put me up my music. Please, I'm gonna. Please, I'm in the name of Jesus. Please, I'm up. Please. Have you had your back doors kicked off? Yes or no? Not gonna answer that. She's like, oh, okay, well, I did it. Hoisha. Did you just call me Hoisha? Yes. Or well, the answer's no. You lie, Hoisha. You a lie, Hoisha. <laughs> <laughs> What is this obsession with Ho and Hoisha? No, we're not there to do these little nicknames. Like, we're not on that level. No, I am the Pum Pum Whisperer. I know hoes from 17 miles away. I, I could have my eyes closed and think, there's a hoe in there. 
That's how good I am. I'm a whole detective. Yes. Yeah, do you? I can cook food, I can cook crack. I can my cooker. You say you cook crack? You ask, can I cook in a crack? It needs to be cooked. I'm just saying, I can, I've cooked. That's one of the dishes I can cook. It all makes sense now. I'm connecting the dots now. Everything is starting to make sense. Do you? You'd pay? I'll pay, babes. Would you? Of course I will. But then do you expect sex? Yeah, 100%! My God, my God! Yay! Yay! If you paid <laughs> and I didn't want to have sex, how, how, how do we do this? How you see, you a county court, county court judgment gave you a door for my money that I spent that fucking night before. I want back every penny. I'm taking it to court. I'll send bailiffs to your shit yard. Are you broke? What is broke? You can be broke, there's two different kinds of brokes. Yeah. I think there's a broke where when you're hustling and you're going through a struggle to get there, that broke's okay. But if you're just a bum and broke, that's a yeah, problem. Yeah, and the two of them. If you're broke, just say. I don't like putting labels on having no money. Have you got money? Live comfortably. There we go, so you can look after me while I get back on my feet. Do Have that. you ever sent a pom pom selfie? I've sent pictures to boyfriends. Ah, you little freak! She's a ho! To boyfriends. I know! I, I knew it! We didn't connect. <laughs> oh, I'm a hoe now. So you're asking now I'm a hoe. If you're not a hoe, you're hoeish. Are you an Essex girl? I am. So you look like that girl. Shut up. You look like one of those shut up type. Shut up. I don't sound like that. Because you're trying to be posh. You're not fucking I'm trying posh. to be posh. You're trying to be posh. But this is just how I speak. That's not how you speak. It's not. It's not. Okay. She could be on Geordie Shaw even. She just looks like that proper TV reality star that gets on camera in the room and it's in the papers and she's got a boyfriend. She looks like one of those girls. What would you do if I wanted to involve other people in our sex life? Has to be bitches. Why? What kind of... What if I wanted other men? Then you, no, 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 no. Why? That's that's what I'm trying to stop you from being this Hoisha that you that you so solely want to be. Why? Hold on. So how does it make me a hoe? So you want to have other women involved? Yeah. But I can't have other men because it would make me a hoe. Obviously, you're listen. You're also a hoe then. She likes too much men in her sex life. So I'm trying to be that guy to take her away from that life because she is about that life. So I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to smooth down the holes. You understand? I'm trying to be that guy for her. One dick to a pum pum, yay. One dick to a pum pum, yay. If I f ten girls a day, I'm class. I get a medal. I get like, I go to the club, man, like me high fiving. You go f ten men right now. You be Hoisha. But why? Why is that? I didn't make the rules. No. But you're going along with them. Don't hate the player, baby. Hate the game. But you're going along with them. You could just be like, actually, double standards. It's not double standards. You are a hoe. Not you, but if you do, but I don't know if anyone. I, I like her, but I just want her to be real. I don't know if I like or hate you. It's like this fine You love, you love like me. Really you actually me love me. The guys that's been on here, that's been, you know, humouring you, flattering you. You need somebody real that's going to tell you about your blood clot self. Do you think you're humbling me? I'm humbling your pussy clot. Sorry, oh, oh, sorry I went into Jamaican mode. So, Yes, so, I'm humbling your ass. I don't think you are. I'm laughing like at you, not with you, just you know. What would you do if your friends are liking up all my pictures online? I want my friends to slide in their DMs. I want that to happen. What? Yeah, I do. No man don't want to be no butters. If I, if, but if, I feel like your if you ego went out, can't take... No, but I, realistically, let's be, let's be real for a minute. As much as you're saying you don't want someone that's like not as hot, but if you went out with a woman that was really attractive, your ego wouldn't handle the way men approach an attractive Why woman. Why not? That's all I got. I go, it happens. I'll, I'll, it happens. And then, then you start moving babes, mad. I'll, then you get jealous and it's like, oh, why was he smiling at you like that? Why was he looking? Genuinely, babes, let me tell you this. Story. It happens. I know why you're judging me. Let me tell you this. I always f with tens. Not because you're a seven and a half. I always f with tens. You're the lowest I've been, to be fair. This guy is definitely over exaggerating on how much pussy he gets. What would you do if I didn't want to sleep with you for the first six months of our relationship? If I genuinely liked you, then I wouldn't make you sleep with me for the first six months. I would, I would roll with it. Would you? Yes. Oh, so you don't just do meaningless sex? I'd be f***ing other girls to you already. Well, that's like, that's possible. 
But I, w- I would, I would pressure you for sex because I'd be, but I'd be getting sex. I just yeah. want me to get sex from you. What would you do if I had slept with two of your friends in the past? I wouldn't mind, but if you gave them head, then it's long. Why? Because I don't want to be tasting my friend's dick in your mouth. You're not going to taste their I'm dick. I'm going to mother. taste it. No, you're not. Subconsciously, I'm going to be thinking about it. Well, and I don't, want to be, I don't want to be having sex and thinking, does my mouth taste like my friend's dick? I, that, that's just too much information to handle. I just want to be f***ing you, not thinking, does your mouth smell like my friend's dick? If you didn't give them head, I was still, but if you gave them head, you know what I mean? Okay. What would you do if my ex was after you? If he had good pussy, then I would forgive him. But if it's dead pussy, no, we're in beef. How can you fucking beef me for some big hole, gal? You're rude. I'm not going to beef you for that. I'm not going to beef you for that. You can keep that big, gigantic, new, no- new normous. This is a new word, new normous. <laughs> You're really rude about women. Sue me. I don't like girls with big holes. Surely, if every woman has a big vagina, your dick is not big. And that's actually a compliment because when a woman is more comfortable and relaxed, she's more wetter. So it's actually. Oh better. my god! See, you're just trying to make stories for your big I'm hole not. now. Oh, fuck you. Oh, you're just trying to make hot stories. Yeah? Oh, that's what you're doing here. Is that what we're doing here? Trying, 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 trying to make stories for your big hole, yeah? What? You got a big pussy. Live with it. You're no, firstly, I'm not. Firstly, I'm not wet. <laughs> you're a bucket. Especially of you, I'm not. There's not. I can assure you. Yeah, that's I your story. You. Oh, babes, I'm, I'm, I just like you. No. It's like wireless, four tenths. <laughs> <laughs> Is this what you wear to dates, by the way? It's not. So that's not what you wear. So no. that I'm all dressed up for what reason? Because you're supposed to be. You're supposed to impress me. You're also supposed to impress me. I'm supposed to impress you. I could just kind of say something and to you. And by the way, you didn't, just you know. So I knew, see, rate a man that knows the thing. He knew not to dress up because he knew that you was going to be hit, sitting there chatting shit to me. I didn't even bathe before I come. You what? I didn't even have a shower before I come. So and you- I'm, I'm, so I'm going to be totally honest. Like we've been honest, if you wanted to give me a head now, I would say no. Unless you like cheese. He surely just said his dick stinks. So how do you think you've done on the date today? If you don't give me pussy or even give me a second date, you're a dickhead. I'm a dickhead. So it's not on you that you're. A no, bad it's day. not on me. It's not on me because I've, I've given the realness. I could have, as I said, I could have came here and played the game, but I just wanted you to see the realness. Date went well. I loved it. Can't wait to do another one if she wants to come back with me. This date was awful. If she's real to herself, I'm not trying to hide her hoishness. Then we'll do this. But I'm definitely not dating this guy again. She would take her wholeness to the grave. I like a loyal hole like that. No surprises, just a big disappointment. She's, she's brilliant, to be fair. My advice is calm down, stop sexualising me and stop looking at my throat. Well, I rate myself as a 10 on the way, but I would rate this day, if it was out of 10, 25, my Jenna. 25 out of 10? That makes as much sense as me and him together. I grilled her, because I'm a griller. I dealt with her like a piece of stale on steak. You understand? She dealt with me like she's trying to put two shrimps on the barbie. I'm not no shrimp. Listen, this guy doesn't even deserve to be on that scoreboard, you know. So I'm going to give him a two.